What are you doing? Good morning. Good uh, morning, bears. How you guys doing? It's another day in paradise on Bear Farm in Texas. And we begin the day with fixing our newly bought brush hog. All right, so here's the Cash 22. We got this at a discounted price. $400 less. Because uh, somebody never put gear oil in it and they uh, somewhat seized the gearbox. So the place said they'll give us a new gearbox, but we just have to replace it. That's it. So me being me, I said, uh, yeah, we'll take it. Um, I put oil in the gearbox. The old gearbox the old that's gearbox, broken. Right? Because the new, the, the new one that they had was the wrong size. That's a six foot? Yeah, six foot. They had one for a five foot. So long story short, I took a big uh, pry bar and shoved it in that PTO. Which is right there. Right there. I broke the grease fitting, but that's, that, those are It's okay. Cheap. We're going to buy We're going to pick one up. And I put oil in the gearbox, and then I tried to spin it slowly and slowly and slowly. And, and guess what? Uh, it broke free. So it's got grease and it's got oil in there now. So I mean... But what we need to do, I'm hoping it'll last a day or two. Um, and then we're going to get a new gearbox for free anyways. And I'll just replace it. Because so you know, just so you know, this got to get cut. Yeah. Mm, this got to get cut and it's going to get cut today. So what's exciting, what's another thing that's extremely exciting that's happening today? Uh, we're getting delivery of our tractor. So it's Finally. Finally, 10 years later. So, you see all the implements. so we just bought yesterday a tiller, yep. a box plate, and of course a brush hog. And we have IBC tote. And Honey's fixing this. So that as soon as the tractor gets here, we so actually gonna... We're gonna hook this up and see how she spins. And you know what we're gonna cut first? We're gonna got, cut this lovely field first you know why because we gotta get into that damn barn in there there's a barn that can, we cannot get into and apparently yesterday i look like i look like crap but it's okay good morning so i'm still in pajamas because we were at the party yesterday we had a house party house party at our friend's house we got home at four o'clock in the morning so we woke up at 10 Yes, we did. So um, basically, the old owner of the property that we bought it, for, like the, the owner of the property that we bought this from, he told us that there is plum tree and um, what pecan, pecan tree, tree and lots of different trees, and there is actually a slab in there. There used to be a home in there, so we want to check this out. And guess what? That tree that we were wondering about right here, that tree in the culvert. We had no freaking idea what that is. And guess what? This is a pecan tree that is quite large. So we're going to have pecans. It's just as of now. Hold on. Let me check for snakies because there's lots of these assholes. Um, so basically, I don't see any blooms on it. Hold on. Yeah, I don't see any blooms. I don't know where the bloom when pecan is actually blooming. But yeah, we will have some uh, pecans. And in there, in that, uh, I'm gonna closer you up, guys. In that covert over there, there's a cactus that it's actually a freaking prickly pear. But most likely, there are snakes in there. So I am not getting closer. And the snakes are most likely in those coverts as well over there because the rattles apparently love to hide in places like these so i am not trying to get in anywhere and every night that we come home and it's late like a little blast lights everywhere and i don't come out until i know that there is no snakies because snakies are everywhere and we have lots of different types of snakies we have some rattles we got some chicken snakes some king snakes water moccasins, um, black snakes, and what else? Some kind of flat snake that basically it flattens itself out to scare you. And it's very short, it's like a foot long, but it flattens itself to like six inches. And it tries to scare you, it hisses and stuff. I guess it's not poisonous, but it sucks. So this brush hook 
always when he comes out he gotta hit it so there's no surprises underneath yes and I always freak out and I yell at him because he has tendency of going without these okay and these are snake boots these are area snake boots and there's his knife and we also gotta get what we gotta get judge yeah 410 judge yes so 410 Judge is a small little gun that basically gets the snakey shoots uh, shotgun shells. Shotgun shells and back shots. Back yeah, shots? Shot. There's actually back shots somewhere there. Don't be careful when you pick stuff up. It shoots these. It's actually exactly what this is. Yeah. So it shoots those. And with this, you can kill a snakey. Yeah. And also our neighbor which is the ex-owner of this land told us that the best thing is to get like a walking stick because if you unsure where to go you better have that walking stick and you check your surroundings because these mother heifers come out quickly and fearlessly so we don't want to find out and then there there's for sure some of them and let me show you my crazy dog because our crazy dog has been sinking all day long today. Yes? What? You can't go outside. Unfortunately, you talk to the snakes. So the problem is, let me get back at me, my beautiful, face today in my crazy hair my pajamas so the problem with the dogs is we cannot take them outside too much and we cannot let them go because over there right there across the street you see these bushes over there the forest that's a mesquite tree forest and in mesquite trees there's infestation of snakes because these mesquite trees apparently haven't been cut for 30 years because the owner is dead and the children are in California not taking care of this place so our neighbors who live did you just fart it he has farted I'm sorry guys did on camera. you were smelly yes smell it out here I'm in wood. you smell so the neighbors who live behind those bushes oh my god why is it getting so dark uh, lost two dogs two rattlesnakes so we won't let our dogs out until we have a snake proof fence which not gonna happen this time it will happen once we move here because the perimeter like an one acre perimeter of the house it will be fenced in fully with a snake proof fence so that the doggies can go over there because that's where the house is going to be right there I'll show you later once we have a tractor and we cut this crap but basically in there, there that's where the house is going to be in here right here this is going to be my orchard okay this is all orchard and right after orchard probably in somewhere in here there is going to be my garden okay and the rest in the back that's going to be a house and then the utility buildings and stuff and on this side we're gonna develop pasture and uh, we're gonna try to do it this time you know we're gonna try to brush, brush hog this and we actually have a neighbor that said that we'll cut this for us but not this not now because as an old sister saying yeah all sisters and or all all wife wife's tale oh yeah old wife's tale says that in texas in here every single memorial day weekend there is a huge rain that it's coming so the tractor won't be able to get in here so he won't be able to cut it until the rain finishes and how many days is it gonna rain i think four days i think a week yeah so we're gonna try brush hogging it today as soon as the tractor gets in we're gonna jump on the tractor and we're gonna brush hog it and hey by the way it was so nicely tonight we could we were sleeping actually when we got home at 4 a.m we actually slept because it was cold you know and now it's not even hot yesterday we got hit with 103 <sighs> 103 hey good morning 103 
sorry it should light up in a second yeah we got hit with 103 but today it's about 80 something so no matter what it's still warm but you, it's not bad it's not bad yeah so it's really not bad and um we literally getting used to it to texas weather i've washed my hair so i'm kind of bushy um so we're getting used to it in connecticut actually right now in connecticut is 51 or 55 so basically when we get back home we're gonna hate it because it's gonna be cold because we're so used to it now to all this hot weather all this hotness all that hotness so i'm tan as you guys can see it literally Oh, I don't know if you can see it right there. It's been hot, but we enjoy it. We love everything about it. I, it's the place to be. We met a lot of neighbors, a lot. And all these people are so nice. In Connecticut, you won't be able to find people like that who say, hey, we'll help you. Would you like help with this? Would you like help with that? Like, they're there to help. Like yesterday, we were unloading the machines. A neighbor just drove by he's like hey do you need help and he literally jumped out of his truck and we started unloading all this stuff so it was amazing because me and him it was hard you know that that box plate over there that one is very heavy as you guys know i don't know if i showed that in previous videos but um um we bought a chinese box plate from tractor supply and it sucked it was just light duty and and whatever and it was expensive it was 800 dollars. so then i went on marketplace on facebook i don't have facebook he does so i went to his marketplace and i found a guy locally here um that was selling a yes yes sunshine look at this man so what kind of box blade did you buy um American made, locally yeah. made, heavy duty, beautiful box blade. Yeah, a lot heavier than the other one. Um, and it was made like 26 miles away from where we bought it. Yep, exactly. It's literally homegrown. Yep. I think the same thing with the tiller. Mm -mm. Different company. I don't know what Titan is made. It's so, United, it's United States. It is, but yeah. it's not local. Uh, yeah. And Brash Hog. Ugh. Our brush hog is made in Kentucky. Yeah. So. Trying to buy stuff American made. It's all American made. So we're very happy with that. We end up not having any China. Support. Support, support any China. So we're very, very excited about it. And um, yeah, today the tractor is coming. The tractor, unfortunately, is not American. We did not buy John Deere. You know why? Because John Deere is American, but the parts are and everything else is made in China. Yeah, some of them are so we didn't want to buy oh, John Deere. Korean tractor. It's not Korean. Is it? oh. It's Japanese. It's Japanese. But it has Dusen. Yeah, it's got a German engine in it. German yeah. diesel engine in it. Yeah, so, so it should be. It's kind of like a European. Mix. It's actually the same thing as um, uh, what's his name? <coughs> the tractor. I think Massey Ferguson. Mm. That's an update for today. We haven't been recording much. We literally keep on forgetting. But guys, come on, subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> no, seriously. If you guys subscribe, hit, hit the bell and do all this fun stuff. That will help us. You know, that will help us build this damn home, and will help us with a lot of things if that channel grows. Grow will grow yeah so subscribe we have nothing to lose you know at least you're gonna watch some crazy people doing some crazy stuff that's it for now and um i'll see you once the tractor gets in and we're gonna start the craziness we're gonna get to the back of the property and i cannot wait because i haven't seen it yet uh, we've been here almost a week we came in on sunday night and it's friday and i haven't been to the back of the property yet so that's it for now Love you guys. I'll see you later. Here. <laughs> it made it all the way. Nice.
Okay guys, so it's here. It is the size of the Denali. It's crazy. But it's finally here. <laughs>